All right, folks. My name is Johnny Reno from San Diego. Welcome to Dope TV. It's time. All right. We're going to kick this off with uh, how it all started. How uh, I became, quote unquote, institutionalized. Um, how I ended up doing term after term in uh, California State Prison, uh, rehab after rehab, and violation after violation, caught in the revolving door. Um, for starters, uh, I've done three prison terms, multiple diet, multiple violations, double digits, in fact. Um, I've been doing heroin for 30 years. Cocaine, also part of my story. Meth, I could go on and on. Um, all during the 90s, I did drugs. Uh, I was smoking crack, started slamming heroin, worked my way up to speedballing, and uh, pretty much just took it from there. And uh, just got wild with it, man. Just kept doing it. Um, I liked it, it's what I wanted to do. I had small breaks where I didn't do it, but they weren't very long. Mostly just full on running. Um, in, the, in the 90s, I worked and got high. That's what I did. That's what I wanted to do. And um, let me think here. I, uh, I worked some jobs. Uh, I worked a warehouse uh, delivery job. Shout out to the care. What's up, brother? Hope you're doing good. Um, I uh, I also worked for the uh, San Diego Union Tribune newspaper. This is back when they still had the newspaper. It was a big thing back then. I was a factory worker right there. I worked at night. Well, while I was doing that, I got plugged in with these pices that were slinging heroin. And um, I did a lot of favors for them. Uh, Helped them out, you know. They didn't have papers and shit. It was hard for them to do things, especially back then. Uh, the world wasn't quite uh, as friendly back then for uh, undocumented uh, aliens. And uh, I helped them out. You know, I registered vehicles for them, got insurance for them. Shit, I even got an apartment for a couple of them. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, you know, I uh, my Spanish speaking skills were pretty good after. Yeah. After uh, you know multiple years of shooting heroin, back then the dope game was a lot different than it is now, man. I didn't have a bunch of white boys uh, running around with uh, you know ounces of heroin, uh, speed, cocaine. Uh, you got that shit from the Pisces back then. They had it on lock. I mean, you could buy some grams or whatever, but you weren't getting fucking any weight. Well, I did a lot of favors for these guys and. Um, I also middlemaned a lot of dope. Uh, I was living in uh, shooting galleries, and uh, I was about it, you know. Uh, my name was synonymous with heroin, San Diego. Bottom line, I mean, you know, I'd like to say it wasn't, but, but it is. It was, and um, and um, that's how I lived my life. Well, I kind of slowly worked my way up the food chain with these guys where you know, at first I just started like driving dude around because most of those Pisces, they were slinging heroin. You know, Pisces is a Mexican national, by the way, in case you guys don't know. That's a fucking uh, system term. Uh, that's the car they run in. So we're just going to refer to them as Pisces, Mexican nationals. And uh, I would drive dude around. See, a lot of those guys don't use and they just sling dope and make money. Well, this one dude I like, got real tight with, he got high too. So me and him were partying together all day, and he'd be so fucking whack that he couldn't even drive. Me, I'd be driving. I'd drive his car around for him all day, and he'd just sling the dope. You know, I was working at night, so I'd do that all day. And, uh, you know, I just kind of slowly worked my way up with these guys and their whole family to where uh, pretty soon, you know, they gave me, you know, a couple ounces of heroin every day, uh, a couple vehicles to use. Uh, they put me up in an apartment. Um... You know, back then there was the, that back then there was big things. You know, for me, for a dope fiend like me, you know, by this point, I had already lost my job at the paper, so I'm working for these guys full time. 
I'm, you know, and pretty soon I'm a full-fledged runner. You know, they're just giving me the shit in the morning. Uh, I'm out all day from 10, 10 in the morning until 10, 11, 12 at night uh, selling heroin and cocaine. And, um, and then um, my connect got busted and went to the feds. But I continued to work for his family. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to give up any game on any criminal activity that's still going on. But, but this dude's dead, so I, I can talk about this. You know, this guy, uh, uh, when I was on my last prison term, uh, he was murdered in Mexico. So it's a wrap for him. He's a good dude, man. Uh, it sucks that it happened, but, you know, it's part of the game. And, um, and uh, so I'm working for this, this dude. And weird shit starts happening, you know. I'd already uh, had some run-ins with the law, you know. Like, got to realize back then even possession was a felony. So, you know, I did some trips to county jail, 97, 98. You know what I mean? Here and there. Uh, a little bit of county time. Um, you know, George Bailey, low power. Uh, to scan, so just bullshit, you know, no big, whatever, dope fiend stuff, and, uh, I, uh, my connect was, my, my connect was in the feds, I was working for his family, shit was hotter than fish grease, um, you know, he was already, he had already been in the federal prison system, so, basically, he was hotter than fish grease, um, I, um, uh, I knew it was hot, and I just kept going, you know. I, I even told my customers, man, I think I'm about to get busted, you know. And they're like, ah, nah, fuck it, who cares? Just come by, you know. Just just, just come by, man, when I need to get some of that, you know. And uh, I couldn't believe, like, 99, 2000, like those years, how much fucking dope I was selling for those people, man. Uh, I mean, you know, I was, you know, selling, like, half grams, quarter grams. That, that, that was how they sold it back then. People weren't just buying grams or quarter pieces and shit like now. Like I said, the dope game was different. But I mean, I was literally like selling like, you know, $2,500, $3,200 worth a day, you know? Day in and day out, seven days a week, 30 days a month. I was fucking doing it, you know? Um, I wasn't really coming up. I fucking, you know, I had an Acura. It was pretty cool. Um, I had an apartment. They paid for that, you know? They paid to have my laundry done by somebody. Uh, they bought groceries for me. They looked out, but you know, you know, I did the time for it. That's for sure, you know. And um, so I'm doing that, and shit starts getting real sketchy. People are like calling my phone, like that I don't know, trying to get me to go meet them, shit like that, and. Um, I wasn't falling for that, and they weren't happy about it. And uh, eventually, uh, some weird shit happened, and I got cracked over in Southeast San Diego, over on Skyline. I had a couple ounces of heroin on me, all, all fucking ballooned up, old school style. And uh, I ended up um, getting a fucking transportation and possession for sales of heroin and cocaine, and. Um, I caught a three-year prison term. 